In the video today, I would like to talk about something Jesus said uh, several times, or at least a couple times in the Gospels. Basically, he was saying this, I'm going to paraphrase it, paraphrase it, unless you become as a little child, you will not be able, listen, you will not be able to enter into the kingdom of God. And what is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is the sphere or the realm in which he lives and operates. It contains or it includes all the rights and benefits of being a kingdom citizen. So it's very, very, very important. And besides, Jesus came to preach the gospel of the kingdom so that we could enter into it. However, uh, it's not that easy. Well, it is easy, but we make it very difficult to actually enter into the reality of that kingdom mainly because of our understanding. So what I'm going to do today, and hopefully briefly, and then we'll get into more in future videos, is explain scientifically what I believe Jesus was talking about. And this understanding came about, actually, when I was reading a book, and the Lord pointed out to me that that is really what he meant when he said, becoming like a little child. So I was reading a book, and in the book, it talked about brain wave activity. So our brains are uh, actually operate, they're, elect they're electronic, they're electrically charged, and they operate on frequencies. Um, and so the lower the frequency, the more open and receptive we are, and the higher the frequency, the less receptive we are. We're more into our own world, our own thought patterns, our own way of thinking. We're decision-making. We're doing it all on our own, a lot of that. But there is a state in which we become... Um, we, we think a little bit, but we're absorbing more than we're thinking. Uh, we're taking stuff in, and that is programming us subconsciously. And so that's why the Bible says that we should meditate on God's Word day and night. Meditation is a state where your brain waves are very low. Um, so let me show you this chart to help you understand what I'm talking about. I'll give you a visual here. I hope you can see this. Uh, and if I can, I'll post it uh, underneath this video when I post it online. Uh, the first thing here is delta state. And, and usually in children, uh, the delta state is between uh, the ages of birth to uh, one or two years old. So very low uh, brain activity. They are just there absorbing life as it's presented to them. The second one is, uh, yes, is theta. Theta, as you can see, is a little bit more brain activity. And be the reason why there's brain activity is they're not only absorbing, but they're also, there is a little bit of thinking going on. They're, they're starting to, to analyze things just a little bit, but mainly they're absorbing. They're still absorbing stuff. And then you get into uh, alpha, which is a little bit more active brain frequency. There's much more consciousness and awareness of what's going on, and there's more decision-making happening here. Uh, so there's more brain activity. Then you get into beta, which is full-blown brain activity. You are an adult. You are out on your own. You're living your own life. You're making your own decisions. You're, you're, you can critically think. You can analyze. You can do all that kind of stuff. So you can see very high brain activity here. So what I want to get at today in this video is that uh, when Jesus said to become like a little child, I believe he was mainly talking about this theta state. And the reason I say theta is because as adults, we can actually enter that state. Now, we do enter delta state when we're sleeping. Uh, that's the sleep state. But what, what theta is, is just, um, just outside. It's in a twilight, if you will. You're just coming out of a sleep, or you're going into a sleep, or you're in some kind of meditative state. Very important because the Bible says that we should meditate on God's word day and night. Meditate, meditate, meditate. We need to be in a meditative state or a restful state. The Bible says that the, uh, that the mind dependent on the Lord is that perfect peace. 
it's it's restful. It's at a restful state, and I think that that is the theta state. We're going to get in in future videos how to enter the theta state. In other words, how to enter the kingdom of God. We can, because beta state is when we're independent. There's a lot of independence going on there. There's a lot of activity, a lot of worried out and fear going on there. We've got to get out of that state and be brought down into a theta state where God can begin to uh, usher us into the realities of his kingdom. Now, this may sound hokey pokey or whatever right now, and I hope it'll make more sense as we move along, but this is very important because this is something that you can control and then you can experience uh, even more reality of God's kingdom if you can capture what I'm going to be sharing in the next few videos. Until then, uh, we'll talk later. Mm -hmm.